now we going back. We going we going back to ball, man. Same same type of same type of questions. I'll give you a couple guys. You're gonna tell me who you think is better, and I want you to tell me who has a better post game, who has better footwork, who's a better finisher, and who has a better shot. That. Yeah. All right. So Kobe or Mike. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Jordan over Kobe, but when mm-hmm. we break them down, I think mm-hmm. Kobe's footwork is a little bit better than Jordan's. Now, the game evolves, which means that different moves come along with it, right? Different moves come along with yeah. it, which means that different type of footworks and different type of shot creation is gonna come with it. So, I think Kobe had more of a his footwork was was a little bit more diverse than Michael's. Um, mid range, I think their mid range is, is kind of the same. I think that mm. um, Jordan was a, a mid range assassin. I'm saying Kobe wasn't, but Kobe shot threes. Kobe shot, um, uh, Kobe went to the rim a little bit more. Jordan dunk on you, but 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 most of it was post up mid range, uh, one dribble mid range. Um, he rarely shot the three ball, which he shot forty percent from three. But if you look at the, the 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 shot attempts from him to Kobe, I'm sure Kobe's blowing him out the water as far as attempts. But um, I'm gonna go Jordan with the layup package. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Kobe with. I'm, uh, damn. I'm gonna go Kobe with the footwork, and I'm gonna go Jordan with the better shot because his field goal percentage is higher. Scored just as many points five years less in the league. Got more scoring titles than Kobe. Um, got more first team all defensive team than Kobe. Got defensive overall else is Jordan. Layup packages Jordan. Uh handles it might be Kobe because Jordan wasn't really the primary ball handler. And Kobe going into that time, they started dictating the, the best player, had the ball in his hands, and sort of point to this era that we're in now. The point guard is James or Luca or Joel Embiid, in any sense, Joker, you know what I mean? But I'm going to go Kobe. I'm going to go Kobe for the handles, but anything else is Jordan. Uh, that's a good breakdown. LeBron, KD, same thing. I think LeBron has better ball control, but as far as moves, I because I always say moves and handles are two different things. You can have the ball on the string, but not have any handles or moves, right? since like uh mark jackson had handles right mark jackson had the ball the i mean he didn't have handles but he had the ball on the string he can handle the ball control the ball chris paul has ball control and he has handles kd has moves so i think that he got a little bit more handle to him but i think lebron has more ball control to him kd got the better shot lebron got the better package of finishing kd got the better mid-range kd is a better overall Score than LeBron in a bunch. Floaters, mid range, fadeaways, three balls, free throws. Um, I'm gonna go KD from there, but passing LeBron, layup package. I'm actually go LeBron. Um, ball control. He don't got more handle than KD, but I think him running, him running the point guard, not being ripped and not losing the ball. I'm gonna go LeBron, but overall player, LeBron. And I want to add another, uh, another like section, offhand. Who has a better offhand? Oh, LeBron. LeBron got a better offhand than KD for sure. And what about Mike and Kobe? <sighs> Sheesh. I honestly. I think they're tied right there. I think they're honestly tied because they both they both were ambidextrous with the basketball. I don't know if Kobe Jordan was natural and Kobe was 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 in the lab, but I'll go with tied with, with both of them having the, they had that their left hand was both vicious. Uh to me, I, I think Kobe had a better left hand. You think so? That's just me. Yeah, because he had lefty floaters. He did lefty turnaround threes. He was just a retard with his left. Remember, he was remember when that, Jordan so. came up through here like he was going to dunk and switch it to the left, and he was coming with all them up and downs with the left. Of course, but it was and it was. I get it. 
But you know how some people like Kyrie is natural, and when Jordan did it, it was like unnatural. Right, like, right, 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 right. That's how I you know what I'm out. saying. Like the like the swagoo in it. Right, you know right, what right. I mean? right, 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 right. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Like that's how I feel so about me, Kyrie's handle and Steph's handle. I feel Kyrie's handle is water. I feel mm. I know I know Steph's handle is in water. I know he's not blessed in a sense like Kyrie is with that basketball. I don't think anybody mm-hmm. is much like Jamal Crawford or like C P. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Steph's worked on his lab. It's 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 mm-hmm. it's, lab. it's 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 this. Kyrie's a shit. Yeah, Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie's from the hood. Yeah. yeah, he's from the hood. That's right. a fact. All right, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go Giannis and Kawhi. I got Kawhi footwork, Kawhi mid range, Kawhi three, Kawhi offhand. I got Kawhi a, a, a better player than Giannis overall, just in general. Everything, handle, mid range, post, free throws, offhand, defense, everything. You think you think Kawhi has a better offhand than than than, than Giannis? Kawhi has a better offhand than like I, I honestly don't see Giannis do anything. That's He's dunking not, everybody with his left. Yeah, but like, if I'm seven foot, I could it, dunk it with my left, dunk with my right. It ain't too much, too too hard when I like when I can just do this. Yeah. You know what I mean, you feel me? I don't but know. I don't see guys coming in doing no up and under All left right. or no floaters. Nah, no never. Jump hooks with the lefts. You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, never that. Never that. Right. Never that. Never that. That's true. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. We gonna go D Rose and John Morant. I think, I think, I think the games evolved a little bit more to where Ja got is able to show a little more with his handle. Whereas where where it used to be, if you ain't can't go nowhere within three dribbles, give it up. Nowadays, you can pat pat that that thing for however long you want to. So I think Ja has a little bit of more in his hand for the handle. So I'm gonna go with him with the handles. Um, Ja with the offhand, Ja's offhand, Ja's offhand is retarded. Um, his mid range is better than D Rose. His three ball is better than D Rose. But I'm gonna go D Rose as the overall better, better, better player on the court. They respect D Rose more than they respect Ja right now. D Rose, Ja ain't done nothing in the playoffs for me to give him a nod over D Rose, but I'm going to break down his game. He does do everything better than D Rose at this point in his career. Steph and Kyrie, you just mentioned them. Right. Me personally, I think Kyrie has the better offhand. Um, Now, three point shooter, obviously, Steph's the best three point shooter ever. Um, so I'm gonna give Steph the nod on that. But handles, I got Kyrie. Offhand, I got Kyrie. Post up, got Kyrie. Mid range, I got Kyrie. Finishes, I got Kyrie. Defense, there it's defense. They're not really too far apart. I think Steph might get more effort because he has more of a knock on him having playing no defense. Kyrie don't really play it, but they don't really say anything about it. They don't really try to knock that on uh, as that as in, as that's a weakness of his. But I'm gonna go Kyrie as the overall better pound for pound um basketball player than Steph Curry. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I feel the same way, bro. You feel me? Post moves, like Steph don't got no post game, bro. Steph ain't got no post, right? You know what I mean? Like and to like you don't really think about point guards posting. Right. Kyrie posts. Kyrie post. Baron Davis. Like Kyrie don't even have the body to be posted. Right. But. Kyrie posts up at the elbow, right? He'll give you some mid posts. He'll give you some low posts. Like Kyrie will post you at the three, back you, yeah. front, like <laughs> turn around, then do you, then back you again, then do you? Yeah, Kyrie. Kyrie. Kyrie is a, a special talent in the league that I don't think a lot of dudes when it comes pound for pound, like AI, pound for pound. Kyrie is that deal. Yeah, he's unappreciated, man. I think it's because you know some of his, some of his, you know how how uh, outspoken he is. You know, a couple right. of decisions, you know, leaving Cleveland, not staying right. in Boston. 
You know right. what I mean? If you, you leave LeBron, you're not going to really, people going to look at you crazy, but he's his own man. So I think those right. are a couple of reasons that, you know, he's a 50, 40, 90 guy too, but it doesn't get talked about. You know what I mean? Right. Like Even they with the flash. Like he's supposed to be that, right? And if you look at his stats compared to Steph, close, bro. Like the shooting numbers and Steph's right. the best shooter of all time. So Kyrie right. should not be close. Right. You know what I mean? So and Kyrie don't I, shoot that volume of threes neither. He gonna give it to you how he give it to you. You know, Steph looks for the three a lot. Kyrie looks mm -hmm. for what's open. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's a I good break. Somebody try to argue me that Trey Young was better than Kyrie because Trey Young took his team to the Eastern Conference Finals, and Kyrie mm -hmm. hasn't by himself. And I said, listen, it's all it's, it's it's all about it's all about matchups and who you get and where you get. Mm -hmm. Um. Kyrie, I call but, that a, I call that a casual take. That's what I call that. Right. That's what we but call casuals. Kyrie will bully Trey Young and give no him question. fifty. No question. I and mean, Trey might give him fifty too. But see, the thing is, Trey gonna do it off forty shots. Kyrie gonna do it off of probably twenty. You know what I mean? The volume and the precision and the efficiency. Trey's not very efficient a lot of the times. Like you know what I mean? Trey will have games where he's. 37% from the field. I don't. I rarely see Kyrie shoot 37% from the field. Do that. You know I mean? He don't do that. He don't right. do that. But um, Trey, if you, if you look at him this year, he's almost at 47% from the field and 38 from three. So Trey, Trey's coming along, man. You got the 10 seed. They're the 10 seed. No, no, I know. They they don't really have the, the right. talent around him. You know. I mean, you see what like like your boy said. He, he took he took a team that shouldn't have been there to the Western Conference Finals. Which right. is, you know, you got to give him, you know, it's, it's a feather in his cap. But right. when it comes to Kyrie, I just think a lot of people don't appreciate what they're watching and don't right. make a casual take like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the way me and you look at the game is skills more than team success because right. we know what it takes to become and be that efficient. You know what I mean? And we appreciate moves and, you know, difficulty of, of scoring on a double team when there are nobody, there's, you have nobody in your team where you right. are the main threat. So you're going to see two and three people at all times. And if you could still be efficient dealing with that type of defense, we know what that means. You know what I mean? Right. But I, I, I like Trey as well because I think his he's a better passer than Kyrie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I, I like I like the way he he's able to like manipulate the pick and roll. Yeah, for sure. And, 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 and get his guys involved. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Kyrie is, Kyrie's a different level, man, to me, anyway. He's nasty. To me. He's nasty, bro. Right. All right, we're going to keep going. Carmelo or Paul Pitts? I got mellow footwork, for sure. Post-up, mellow. Mid-range, mellow. I haven't really seen much of mellow even finishing with the left, so I'm going to go Paul Pierce with the offhand. Um, overall player, I'm going to take Melo over Pierce. Did Pierce have more success because he had the big three for sure, but I'm going to take yeah. Carmelo as a, as a better player for sure. Three-point shooter, um, scoring titles, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's Melo. I agree. We're going to go Dame versus Westbrook. I'm going to take Dame I'm going to take, honestly, when it comes to offhands, I'm going to go Russ because Russ is known to be a willing uh, a, a willing finisher, dunking left and right, jumping off the mm -hmm. left and right foot. So I'm going to go with Russ mm -hmm. with that. Russ probably with the post up because I don't see Dane post up much. Dane with the three point shooting, Dane with the mid range. And as far mm -hmm. as layup packages, I'm going to probably yeah. say Russ because Russ is able to finish with both hands. But. Mm -hmm. Considering this year, Russ hasn't been finishing well, but Dame hasn't played at all. So, but overall player, I'm going to go with Dame. That's a fact. I agree. All right, Kevin Garnett or Anthony Davis? I'm going to go to Big Ticket. Uh, overall, down the floor, the Big Ticket had a left-hand jump hooks, right-hand jump hooks. Footwork was untouchable. Mm. Um, mm. He was one of the original stretch fours. Now, he didn't shoot the three very well. Uh, that often, but he was a, a, a mid-range high school three-point shooter. Him and Tim Duncan, they would catch that pick and pop. They would knock that thing down. He would catch it, take it to the rim. Uh, defensive uh, player, MVP. 
of the league with Kobe, AI, T Mac, all those guys, Shaq and, and Tim Duncan in his era, uh, took his team to the Western Conference Finals against Kobe and Shaq and them too with Troy Hudson and, and Spreewell and them dudes. So I'm going to go big ticket all the way around. I respect that. I respect that. All right. James Harden or Dwayne Wade? I'm going to go James Handles. I'm going to go James Jump Shot. I'm going to go D-Wade with the offhand because James don't use his right, but D-Wade uses his left impeccably. D-Wade defensively. D-Wade post-game. And with the, I got to go D-Wade because of the championships, but if we're talking about pound for pound, James is a better overall pound for pound skill for player than D-Wade. I be trying I'm to tell people it's D-Wade. closer than, than we think. Right. It is It is closer than we D-Wade think. D-Wade has everybody's gonna say D-Wade. teams, finals and yeah. BPs, and those type of things that give him the nod. Mm-hmm. But if you gave James those same accolades and we yeah. put him here, it's James. You know what I'm saying? So... I agree is Dwayne Wade, but uh, and James Harden is such a like he manipulates the refs like they right. had to change the rules because of him, right? You right. know what I mean? Like he would hook you before you got a chance to hook him, right? Exactly, and make right. the ref make a call. Defensively, so, I mean, D Wade. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I give I give D Wade the second best, the third best shooting guard of all time behind Mike and Kobe. I give D Wade, I get Jerry West, and I give James. I give it to James Five. That's a great breakdown.